Three, two, one. Welcome to A Parent Tasty. Today on the show, we are gonna make some chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. All right. So what? So Milo is like a chocolate beverage, and I'll I have some right here. It comes from Australia. All right. So let's have a look at it there. What is it? What is it? Do you want to see in there? See. Whoa. Now put your finger in and taste it a bit. Tell me if it tastes good. <laughs> Just, just take a little bit and taste it. Yeah. Mmm, sweet. Crunchy, right? Yeah. Isn't that nice? So, this is a chocolate powder that we put into a cup. So I wanted you to try it. I know you've tried it before, but for, show the people how we make it. So, oh, he licked his finger. <laughs> Good job. So we're gonna put a bit of chocolate, a bit of milk in here, right? And then we're gonna get a spoon, and we're gonna put a heaping spoon. Hey, me. You wanna put it in there? Okay, now stir it up, right? Stir it all up. So this is just basically like chocolate milk. It's a malted chocolate product. And you stir it all up, and then it just turns into like a chocolate milk style um, beverage that kids can eat. So you try that. You try, try a little bit and tell me if you like that. Try a little bit and tell me if you like that. Is that good? Yeah. All right. So that's just basic. And we got some chocolate there. Well, I'm going to talk about it in a second. So, if we want to make a Milo dinosaur, you know what we do? We take, this is, this is famous. If you go to a restaurant and you ask for a Milo dinosaur, you get Milo, which is a chocolate drink, and you put a heaping teaspoon of the... Sugar? Yeah, it's like the powder on top, right? So you end up getting what looks like just like a powdered crunchiness on top. So try that now and tell me if that's good. <laughs> Good? Do you like that? Right, so you can eat it with a little bit of spoon, right? Like this. Mmm, crunchy. Just see, he likes it. Mmm, but it's also on top of the drink. Right, so put it back so you don't want to make a big mess. Now, so that is called Milo Dinosaur when it has crunchies on top, okay? Now, do you want to make it a Milo Godzilla? Yeah! A Milo Godzilla is milk mixed with Milo. Hey. Mixed with, wait a second, hey. listen to me. Let me just explain something first. You can say, talk in a minute, okay? Chocolate milk with dried Milo powder on top with whipped cream on top of it. Do you want to try a, a Milo Godzilla now? Yeah, I have to make a, a Godzilla. Okay, so we shake it up. Okay, now push the button here. Push this button here. I'm going to make it go. Oh. So that is a Milo Godzilla. And we can actually put a little bit more powder on top of we want, like this. Right, now look, look at that. How yummy does that look, right? Chocolate milk, powder, cream, whipped cream, and then powder. Now you try it, yummy. you try it. So this is called a Milo Godzilla. So you taste it, you pick it up and you taste it and tell me what you think of it. Mm. Okay, and drink a little bit and tell me if that's good. Is that good? Okay, so do you like Milo, Milo Dinosaur, or Milo Godzilla best? Which one do you like the best? Milo Godzilla. Milo Godzilla, mm, that's the best, right? Oh my goodness me, look at that. <laughs> that looks delicious. Okay, try that, huh? Mm, you try it. That is so delicious. So this is supposed to be good for you. It's got vitamins and stuff in it. I don't know. It's Milo, right? But that's what's famous about it. Now, should we make our own version of it now? Okay. New cup, right? Empty cup. This is what this is what Carter and I invented. We're, we're, we're going to make a Milo. We're going to make a Milo. A Milo Spinosaurus. Milo Spinosaurus, hooray! Good idea. Okay, so let's start with a bit of milk, right? To bake, make the basic Milo. Yeah. I'm gonna put that in there, right? I'm gonna stir it all up. So it's basic Milo, right? Yeah. And then we're gonna add what? A little bit of chocolate powder on top to make it a Milo dinosaur. And then we're gonna add some whipped cream. Wanna add some whipped cream yeah. on top? I'm gonna push the button here. Ready? <gasps> That's a Milo Godzilla. And then to make it a, a Milo Spinosaurus, here's what we're gonna do. What? 
we're gonna take some dried fish and we're gonna put it in. And that's a Milo, Milo Spinosaurus. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay, now you drink that. And why do we make it? Why, what? Why, why does it? Well, what does a Spinosaurus eat? Fish. Right. So do you want to taste that? That's why it's a fish. <laughs> okay, well I tell you what, that's just my made up thing. Because it, because the Spinosaurus eats fish, so we'll take the fish out, but instead we'll pretend that something more yummy is fish. We'll put some chocolate chips. Chocolate chips? On top. <laughs> right? Okay, here, you can put some chocolate chips on top. Put them all on top there. Ah! Oh, put them on. And this? Hey, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on, off you go. Okay, you're gonna put some on? Put some more. Whoa! Whoa, and so we're gonna pretend that's fish because Spinosaurus like what? Fish. But we don't want to eat fish on our, on our Milo Spinosaurus, do we? No. We want to put chocolate chips. Okay, now try that and tell me if it's good. We're going to um, put all the things on. Okay. One, two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Milo Spinosaurus. Is that your new favorite drink? What's it called? Milo Spinosaurus. Milo Spinosaurus! That, that Spinosaurus is my favorite dinosaur, right? And it's one of your favorites too? Yeah. So I thought, well, we'll call it a Milo Spinosaurus. There you go. That's how you make Milo drinks here on Apparently Tasty. And is it tasty? Oh, it's really, really good. All right. Okay. Have I, have I got yeah. mustache? <laughs> yeah. Have you got a mustache? All right. Well, that's it for this episode of Apparently Tasty. And there's the cat. Don't forget to share this with your friends, to tell your kids and your grandkids. Make sure you thumbs up here on YouTube and, and um, check out our new website. We have a new website, apparentlytasty.com. Yeah, and Gigi's lying there. And Gigi was lying there, that's right. Well, Gigi came to say hi. She's like our, <laughs> our audience member, right? Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. What else do you want to tell them? Mmm. Mmm. All right, well, while Carter's finishing his Milo Spinosaurus, we're gonna say see you later. Thanks for tuning in this week. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Something more than bread. A nice big steak and fries to go. Listen to what I said I need Something more than soup